everyone, it's Kelsey from the blog Westman Academy and today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY mattress sheet. You can do this for a crib, you can do it for a bassinet, it doesn't really matter. You just have to use the measurements for your child's sleep area, whether it is a crib, a bassinet, a cradle, a basket. And I did have a make a video on how to make the DIY waterproof pad for it. I bought this off of Facebook Marketplace initially thinking it was smaller and that my daughter could use it for her dolls. But as you can see, it is a vintage full size baby bassinet. The bottom is fake wood. So I did have my husband stabilize it, add some support wooden pieces underneath, and then I wanted to make a pad for it. So essentially you just have to have the measurements all this piece is, is taking a front sheet, a front fabric piece that is long enough to be the front part of the sheet. And then in the back, we're just going to overlap two pieces. We're gonna hem the pieces that are shown. This is just going to open up, allow us to remove that pad, put, uh, place the pad in and out. And then essentially all you have to do is take your front sheet piece, sew it to the sides, but you're gonna start first with hemming the back. So that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. I am also making a fleece version of this, although I'm not showing. This is just muslin cotton. This was $5, $4.99 for two yards at Walmart. I do have some scrap pieces, but I did end up using almost all of it for my baby bassinet. This is just going to add a nice soft padding for my baby to sleep on since I am due in a couple weeks. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it and let's get into the tutorial. I do also have step-by-step -step instructions that you can print off and look at on westmanacademyhomeschool.com. The first thing you are going to want to do is wash your fabric, especially if it's cotton because it will shrink and you don't want your bassinet cover to shrink in the wash and then not be able to fit over the pad or mattress. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this muslin fabric and I'm just cutting it to a bigger size than the mattress pad. If you're interested on in how I made this DIY waterproof bassinet pad, I do have another video and a blog post to go with it as well. So you will see that I have two pieces of fabric cu cut out. The first one is going to be the front cover and the second one is going to be the back. So I'm going to take two pieces, you saw me cutting them, and I'm going to be overlapping these pieces. This is going to allow us to open up the back cover so that we can take out the pad and easily wash the bassinet cover. We know that babies have lots of different things that can get on your bassinet sheet. Plus, just in general, with hygiene, you wanna be able to wash it. So this is how we are going to easily be able to remove the front cover. So as you can see, I have slowly trimmed down so that my pieces overlap. You wanna make sure that you account for enough room, probably an inch on each piece to make a hem. So you can see I'm folding pieces here. I'm going to make a hem, which is going to create a nice, even, good looking seam so that when the bassinet cover is flipped over, it looks nice. After you have sewed your hem, you wanna make sure that that piece 
or part is sticking up. You wanna make sure that if you are using a fabric that has a good side or decorative side, that those are facing inward so that when you flip it inside out, your good side is showing. And you wanna make sure that that is the same with the hem as well. Then I'm just pinning the sides and the top. I will remove the pad to sew it, but I am using this as a guide to make sure that my bassinet cover is going to be tight enough. Once they have sewn around all of the sides, I'm going to just trim off the excess material. Make sure that you do not cut too close to the seam, but cutting enough of the excess so that it doesn't bunch when we flip it inside out. Then I'm just going to place the pad back inside my cover and I'm going to pin around it to ensure that this other side is tight as well. Although I don't show it on camera, I am placing that bottom overlapping piece, folding it down, hemming it, and then I did sew one side on. Make sure that you are sewing this back bottom piece to your front piece and going all the way up over the overlapping piece as well. It will still open, but you wanna make sure that those are sewn together also. Then I am just pinning the other side and bottom and I'm just going to continue to sew around. Make sure that you use a front and back stitch, that way it does not come out or break. Again, I'm going to be cutting off the excess fabric. That way when I flip it inside out, it does not create bunching and allows enough room for the bassinet pad to fit without bending up or <laughs> creating issues. That is pretty much the entire project. I'm just going to take my sheet. Sorry, I have run out of daylight, so I'm using my bathroom light. I'm just flipping my cover inside out and placing my bassinet pad back inside. If you would like step-by-step -step instructions and a more in-depth look at how I made this cover, please visit my blog post. I will have it posted below and at westmanacademyhomeschool.com. I'm Kelsey from the blog Westman Academy Homeschool and I make videos on homemaking, homeschool, and creating a wholesome home.